Hey guys, today I have here a Westinghouse unit from childhood. It's a Mobile Air 5000. The only difference between this one that I remember and the one that my grandma had in her bedroom as a kid growing up in, uh, well, she actually lived in Edgeley, the same house that had the Half Point that I have, is uh, hers has had the plain grill with no vent, just had the W logo, but it's just as good. From the outside, it's exactly how I remember it looking, except for I think hers had a rear grill. Uh, I don't remember though, it's been a while, but I know it had an aluminum case like an Emerson. There's a fancy plug on there. I like that. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Not sure if it runs. I believe uh, Kenny said it did. So, turn the thermostat all the way down. Do a high fan first. Oops. Yeah. I actually don't have the face together right now. These squirrels are as basic, basic as they come, but yet. Yeah. I love them though. <laughs> this is the exact roll that hers had on it. 100% exact. The thermostat's all the way down right now, so it shouldn't kick on yet. I don't feel it's quick on. Hopefully, it's going to make thermostat. And it's not supposed to be quick. There we go. Soothing, calming, and relaxing sound, isn't it? Didn't get any information off of it. Yeah, probably not yet. I'll see if I can fix it up a little bit. Be cold or it's already cold. All right. Maybe like right down here, but in the bottom of it. That way we uh, get the same effect in the APK as to where the holes on the opposite side of the fan, so it can blow the water over the holes, so it can still splash. So once the unit kicks off, all the uh, condensation will stop, will stop blowing over the hole and throwing the drain out. Well, I actually did it by accident. I didn't realize it was going to work out that way, but it did.
It goes, it's cold. It's too cold. This one is too cold. Yeah, it's cold up to about right here. Yeah, it's not really glowing all that cold. Like I said, I'm going to let it run for a little bit and go from there and see what happens. So, yes, like I said, it's really not that bad. You got a little bit of light. Sounds good. Hey, there you go. Just come on up and look at that. Looks like HCF 03700. Yeah, HCF 03700. So the whole thing's cold. I'm gonna put this down to the fact that it hasn't been running three years at all. So it's pretty even throughout. It's still pretty hot out here. It's not blowing as cold as it could, I don't think, but the temperature's pretty low. It's be pretty even throughout. I tried to use a coil fan a little bit, but all it's doing is knocking the uh, ground back into the fan. I guess I go for a line and fix first. That definitely feels colder than it is. Something crazy though. Hmm. See, I don't know. I didn't temp check it yet, but to the touch, when you have it stalled out, this is one of the most. This is one of the coldest evaporators I've ever seen. I didn't, like I said, I didn't temp check it yet, but I'm just going by to the touch and see what it actually is. I really need to get this thing fixed. And keep in mind it's still 80 degrees out here too. That's that is cold. Yeah, 
I'd say it still runs good. Anyway, guys, peace out. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Any comments, questions, concerns? And I will uh, catch you guys on the next one.